we have the number 43,249. And what I want you to think about is what these two fours actually represent and how much more value is represented by this first four, this four on the left, than this four on the right. And I encourage you to pause this video and think about that. So let's just think about what each of these digits represent. So the nine is in the ones place, so it literally represents nine ones. The first, this four on the right, I should say, is in the tens place, so it literally represents four tens, or four times 10, or 40. This two is in the hundreds place, so it literally represents two hundreds, or 200. This three is in the thousands place, so it represents three thousands. And then the four on the left is in the 10,000s place. 10,000s place, so it literally represents four times 10,000, or four 10,000s, or 40, 40,000. So let's actually compare the value that we're getting here versus here. So what's the difference between 40,000 and 40? Well, 40,000 has four zeros, while 40 only has one. So if you wanted to go from 40 to 40,000, you would have to add three more zeros, and we already know how to do that. You could add three more zeros by multiplying, multiplying by 1,000. So 40,000 is equal to 1,000 times 40, or we could say the four on the left here, this blue circled four, represents four, t uh, represent the, the blue circled four represents 1,000 times the value as the yellow circled four. Now, another way of thinking about it is every time you move place values to the left, as you see here, this is tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000s, you're increasing what those place values represent by a factor of 10. So you're going, if you're going from this four to this four, times 10, times 10, times 10. You multiply by 10, the place value, and you see that with the place values right over here, the place values increase by a factor of 10 each time. So if you're going from this place to this place, and you have the exact same digit there, multiplying by 10 three times is the same thing as multiplying by 1,000. So whatever this represents, multiply it by 1,000, and you're going to get what this represents.